Hi brothers and sisters in Christ, today I have a very interesting video for you guys. It's about an encounter that I had with a Jehovah's Witness. But before I get to that, I want to encourage you guys like always to go down to the comment section of any of my videos. Because in the comment section, for example in this video titled, I saw God and this is what he said. If you scroll down to the comment section, you'll see that I uploaded a long comment that has evidence for Christianity. So if you're not a Christian and or if you're a skeptic, please read the evidence I present and examine it. If you are a Christian, I also encourage you guys to read the evidence and please spread this evidence. You can print it out and give it to people or you can post it on social media. I made a video about this comment, so if you want to get the printable version of this comment that prints nicely on a sheet of paper, you can go to that video. It's on my channel and you can go to the Dropbox link and just print it from there. Um, also in the description box of, of my videos, I have a message about the end times, the coming antichrist, tribulation, topics of that nature, so read that also. Now getting on to my experience with the Jehovah's Witness. So simply put, um, Jehovah's Witness um, came to my door and I was pretty excited because I like dialoguing um, with different people about like religion, things like that. So I thought, oh, here we go. I'll talk to her for a little bit or I'll, I'll talk to her for a while. Um, and we can just dialogue and uh, like try to represent like my side of Christianity and try to show her why Christianity is true and um, the religion known as the Jehovah's Witnesses is not true. So that's what I, that's what I thought I would try to show her, but it didn't really go out that way. So she pretty much had a pamphlet and she was inviting me um, to a gathering they were having for Easter. They were meeting at a high school auditorium and she was telling me that how um, she was telling me things that Jesus said or things that Jesus said in the Jehovah's Witness Bible, not the Christian Bible, like that how we should um, gather together for Easter or something like that. I, I don't really remember it fully, but so she was telling me these things and I told her like for Easter, if I wanted to go somewhere, I would go to church. Um, why would I go like a Jehovah's Witness meeting, right? And I guess that kind of offended her because her tone kind of changed, but I don't want to accuse her of sin. I don't want to judge her. I, I want to be a kind person and I want to show love to all. And then so she started talking and she was like representing her side of the story. And But after... After, like, I thought I should tell her about my visions of how I saw God, how I saw Jesus, right? So so I just told her, like, she was talking, and then I started talking. I told her, um, oh, I saw Jesus. And when I said that, she sounded so offended. Like I said, I don't want to accuse her of sin. I don't want to judge anyone, right? But I just have to say it how it is. She just sounded offended. When I told her that I've seen Jesus Christ, she just sounded so offended that, she pretty much just said something and then she walked away pretty much. And I was surprised because I, I thought that um, Jehovah's Witnesses, as far as I know, they, they claim to be Christian, right? I thought she would say, oh, that's great that you've seen Jesus. Glory to God. God is almighty. He reveals himself to people. But that's not the reaction I got. What, what I got was that she just sounded so offended. Like I did harm to her. Or I did something bad to her that... She thought I was mocking her by saying I've seen Jesus. And that just broke my heart, man. I mean, just thinking about it, I mean, if someone claims to be a Christian and you tell her like a miracle that God has performed for you and they sound offended, it just, it kind of, it hits you the wrong way. Like you would think that people would say, oh, glory to God, glory to the Almighty, God is good, God is great. You would think they would give God praise, right? But it just hits them. The, it's sometimes, I'm not saying this to all people, but some people, it just hits them the wrong way. And as you saw in the beginning of this video, I had a video titled, I saw God and this is what he showed me. Or no, this is what he said. That That's that's one of the in that that's one of the many visions that God blessed me with that I saw. I saw Jesus Christ pretty much. So um, that vision, I'll include a link to that and others like it that God blessed me with. In the description box so in the description box of this video um you'll find the link to that you, you'll find the link to that video pretty much so look for that also and thank you for listening all glory to god and if you're a jehovah's witness um i want to encourage you guys to i want i pretty much want to encourage you guys to come to jesus christ basically so he died for your sins on a cross he wants to forgive you guys and please give jesus a chance just just put the religion that you've been taught, just put it away for, for to the side and just give Jesus Christ 
the Almighty, Jesus Christ is God. I know Jehovah's Witnesses teach that Jesus Christ is Michael the Archangel, but that's not true. Jesus Christ is not Michael the Archangel. Michael the Archangel is the Michael the Archangel, and Jesus Christ is the Messiah. Jesus Christ is God, and just and and that's what the Bible teaches. I mean that that simply put, that's what the Bible teaches. I mean I know the Jehovah's Witnesses they have the the Watchtower published Bible, but the Watchtower published Bible was it was rewritten. So pretty much what the Watchtower Society did is that they got the Christian Bible and they pretty much just took off verses that they didn't like or they didn't agree with or they added verses that they wanted to. So um, so I want to encourage you guys, Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons, um, just give Jesus a chance. Please, I beg you. And all glory to God. Thank you for listening.